in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and lush meadows, lived a young girl named Leela. Leela was known for her curiosity and love for nature. She was enchanted by the concept of sowing and reaping, often spending her days in her family's garden, tending to the plants with unwavering dedication. Leela's family possessed a special garden that was unlike any other in the village. It was said that the seeds planted in this garden had a unique property. They would grow into plants that mirrored the intentions of the person who sowed them. This garden was known as the Garden of Seeds and Harvests. One spring morning, as the sun painted the sky with shades of gold and pink, Leela stood before the garden with a small pouch of seeds in her hand. These seeds, unlike any she had seen before, seemed to shimmer with a faint light. She carefully chose the seeds, each one representing a different aspect of her life. Happiness, kindness, love, and generosity. With a heart full of hope, Leela bent down and gently pressed the seeds into the soil, pouring her intentions into each one. As the days turned into weeks, the garden transformed into a kaleidoscope of colors and fragrances. The plants that grew were vibrant and radiant, reflecting the positivity and purity of Leela's heart. The village soon heard of Leela's miraculous garden, and people from all around came to witness its beauty. Some were skeptical, while others were envious of her success. Among them was a wealthy merchant named Elias, whose heart was filled with greed and arrogance. He scoffed at the idea that intentions could influence the growth of plants. Elias couldn't stand the attention Leela was receiving and decided to prove her wrong. One night, under the cover of darkness, he sneaked into the garden with a pouch of his own seeds. However, instead of seeds of kindness and humility, Elias planted seeds of jealousy, deceit, and greed. As weeks passed, the villagers noticed a stark change in the garden. The once vibrant and harmonious plants began to wither and lose their luster. The colors turned dull, and an air of negativity hung over the garden. Leela was deeply saddened by the transformation. But she remained hopeful that the garden's true magic would eventually prevail. One evening, as the sun set behind the hills, Elias walked past the garden and stopped in his tracks. He was taken aback by the stark contrast between Leela's side of the garden and his. His plants were a reflection of his own negative intentions. And he realized that he had sown the wrong seeds. Filled with remorse, Elias sought out Leela and confessed to his actions. He admitted to sowing seeds of greed and jealousy, explaining how he wanted to prove her wrong. Leela listened compassionately, her heart touched by his sincerity. With a gentle smile, Leela offered Elias a chance for redemption. She handed him a pouch filled with seeds of kindness, humility, and generosity. Elias hesitated but eventually accepted the seeds. Realizing the significance of his actions, Elias returned to the garden and carefully sowed the new seeds alongside Leela's. Over time, with his genuine efforts and intentions, the garden slowly transformed once again. The withered plants began to regain their vitality, and the negative energy lifted, replaced by a sense of harmony and tranquility. The villagers marveled at the garden's revival, and Elias learned a valuable lesson about the power of intentions and the principle of, as you sow, so shall you reap. The garden not only flourished but also became a symbol of a interconnectedness between people's actions and the outcomes they experience. Leela's garden of seeds and harvest stood as a reminder to all that the intentions we sow into the world determine the quality of our experiences. Just as the seeds in the garden mirrored the intentions of those who planted them, so too did our actions and choices shape our lives. The village learned that the universe had a way of echoing back the energy we put forth, a lesson that would resonate with them for generations to come.